Thanks for stopping and checking out today's video. If you're watching this, I assume you have an interest in crypto mining and have started to explore the many options that are available in regards to software options, especially if you have built or will soon be building your first dedicated rig. Might it be Windows and running the individual mining program or an operating system such as Simple Mining or Hive OS, one thing that they all have in common is the relatively poor documentation that speaks to getting set up and using the software for the first time. In my opinion, they take it for granted that users are well versed in the subject matter. A big hand goes to the mining community though, for the many voices that are available to offer their help sharing their experience, and engaging in the conversation that surrounds all things crypto. No matter how big our farm is, one thing that we all have in common is that we all have been a beginner and continue to learn with each new opportunity. Today, I want to speak to Rave OS, an operating system that allows you to configure, monitor, and administer your rigs. At the moment, this is the platform that I use most often. I thought to create a series of videos that will speak to it and for what it's worth, share my insight. Today's video will review account setup and installation of the OS, preparing it to run the first rig. Let's first start by visiting the developer's website. Go to raveos.com. Click on the login. Now, if you already have an account, you know what to do, but if not, click on register. It's pretty straightforward. Add your preferred email address and create a good password. It's been said enough by many others, but don't be lazy. Make sure to create a strong password. Once you click register, an email will be sent to you. Take an opportunity to review your email account and confirm your registration. Next, we need to download the current OS image. We will need to flash this onto our preferred medium this could be a simple USB flash drive, which is the least expensive option, or one can choose to use a solid state drive, which will, to some degree, provide faster boot times and performance. There are several ways to flash the OS. Today, we'll take a look at two different options. Per the Rave OS website, they recommend a utility called Hard Drive Raw Copy Tool. First, plug in your preferred medium my case, I'm going to use a USB drive. We need to now select the source of the image file. Next, select the target, in this case, the USB drive. Go ahead and push start. You'll be presented with a progress bar. Another option is Balena Etcher. I expect I've butchered on how it's to be pronounced, so please forgive me. But none of the less, let's quickly go through the process again, this time using a solid state drive. Personally, I think this program provides a slightly more friendlier user interface. Let's choose the source file. Now the target drive. and push start. Ultimately, both programs do the exact same thing. Choose the one that's best for you. We're not yet ready to plug in the drive into the miner. We need to tell Rave OS how to identify our unique miner, so let's do this now. Go ahead and go back to Rave OS on your web browser. Log in if you're not already. On the left hand side, click on Dashboard. Click on the rig name. At this point, you are not going to see any cards since we have not yet booted the rig with the OS. In a future video, we'll go into greater detail of this section. For now, click on the system info Look towards the middle of the screen and you will see a worker token. 
click copy and now go back to your storage device with the OS by opening Explorer. Open the config folder. Now open the token file and notice it's empty. There's no information. Paste the worker token into the file. Now save it. It's this token that the OS communicates allowing you to find your mining rig and all the information that comes with it. You're now ready to plug the drive into your miner and boot it up. Ensure that your system knows to look for the drive and boot from it. Once you do this a couple of times, it will become second nature and you'll see how straightforward it is. Other programs, such as HiveOS, follow a similar approach. I'll start to wrap this episode up by highlighting what I like most about RaveOS, and that is its user interface. To me, it keeps it clean, and to my eyes, it's easier to navigate. It's not perfect. It definitely has some shortfalls, but I think no matter what you choose to use, there's a list of pros and cons. One other reason that may be appealing, especially if you have more than one rig, is the fact that when mining to a two miners pool, there's no cost to running the software. Two miners is also known for a large number of coins to choose from. This is where I ask you to consider taking a moment and liking the video, especially if it was helpful and if you would like to see more videos that go further into Rave OS. Are you using Rave OS already? Is there something that you like most about it? Or perhaps is there something that you wish was different? Leave a comment below. If you have not already, subscribe to the channel. Doing so helps us grow and will allow me to evolve the content. Be mindful of your uptime and keep mining. Thanks for watching.